Welcome back students. This is the last page in unit five. Congratulations. Please go to page 24 and let's get started. Exercise G. Read the story and number the paragraphs in the correct order. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's see if I can make this all on one page. There we go. All right, so the next morning, the piper reminded the mayor of his promise and he asked for his gold. The mayor refused to pay. The piper was furious and he made a threat. He said, he would play a tune that the town would never forget. All right, so we're looking for the first one, but let's keep reading. The piper led the children into a mountain and they all disappeared inside. The people of the town dug and dug, but the children were never found and never returned. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful town called Hamelin. It had many houses covered in bright, colorful flowers. All the people in Hamelin were happy. The mysterious man came to Hamelin and he said that he could free them of the horrible animals. The mayor promised the man a large bag of gold if he got rid of the rats. That night, the people of Hamelin heard a strange but beautiful song from the piper's flute. One by one, the rats came out of their hiding places and followed the piper as he played. He led the rats far away to a river where all the rats drowned. Everyone in the town felt very happy. The people of Hamelin tried everything they could to get rid of the rats, but nothing worked. Then one day an old woman told of a mysterious man she had met in the mountains. The man said he could get rid of the rats. All right. One day, however, rats appeared everywhere. People couldn't eat because the rats had already eaten all the food. When the people felt thirsty, they couldn't drink the water from the wells because the rats had already drunk it. People couldn't sleep because the rats had crept into their beds. And the last paragraph. Soon the people of Hamelin heard the piper song again. When they looked out their windows, they saw that all the children of the town were following the piper out of town. The people shouted at the children, but the children didn't seem to hear. All right, so let's put these in the correct order. Any story typically starts with once upon a time. So that's an easy one. So number one, once upon a time, there was a beautiful town called Hamelin. All right, so what do you think is number two? All right, so number two, not this one, not this one, not this one. Ah, probably, was it this one? All right, so they tried everything to get rid of the rats, so we need the rats first, so number two. One day, however, rats appeared everywhere. All right, so rats appeared everywhere. Number three, the people of Hamelin tried everything they could to get rid of the rats, but nothing worked. All right, so they tried everything. So what do we have left? The piper led the children the next morning, the mysterious man that night, soon the people. All right, so the man said he could get rid of the rats, so he has arrived. Number four, the mysterious man came to Hamelin and he said he could free them of horrible rats. The mayor promised the man a large bag of gold if he got rid of the rats. All right, so. He made a deal with the mayor to take the rats out and the mayor would give him gold. So we need to find the one where he took the rats out. All right. 
So that would be this one right here, number five. That night, the people of Hamlin heard a strange but beautiful sound, blah, blah, blah. So he got rid of the rats, so the mayor needs to pay him. So which one? Ah, this one, number six. The next morning, the piper reminded the mayor of his promise. He asked for his gold, but the mayor said no. All right, so the next one is this one. Soon the people heard the song again, and they saw their children. And then that means that this one is the last one. The piper led the children into a mountain, and they all disappeared inside. So in your time, practice reading this story in the correct order. And when you're looking at something, remember, like, using the words then, soon, one day, and figuring out how to put things together. And there's a phrase in English, everyone has to pay the piper. That means that exactly the mayor didn't pay the piper, so the piper took the children away. That's where we get the phrase from, everyone has to pay the piper. So, that's it for Unit 5. We are not doing the writing corner. If you want to, you can do this on your own, but you do not have to do it for a grade. Thank you for following along. If you have any questions, please send me a message. I miss you guys in my classroom, and I'll see you later. Adios.